The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronic design community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com. Hi, and welcome back to the Learning Circuit. Today we're going to use MOSFETs to make a phase light. For our project, we're using two N7000s, which are N-channel eMOSFETs. In our FET episode, we learned about the inner workings of eMOSFETs. A voltage applied at the gate can cause a channel between the source and drain to form and grow. So we know we need a voltage at the gate to make our MOSFET turn on. Okay, let's take a look at our circuit diagram. Here we have three LEDs with current limiting resistors connecting to the drain of each MOSFET. Then there is a one mega ohm resistor connecting each drain to the gate of the next MOSFET. Each gate has a 2.2 microfarad capacitor connecting back to ground. Okay, so I've built this circuit on this breadboard and I've got it hooked up to my power supply which is set to six volts. Let's turn it on and see what happens. As you can see, the first LED turns on. As it gets to full brightness, the next LED turns on. Once the second LED turns on full brightness, the first LED dims. When it's off completely, the third LED begins to light. They continue to cycle in this manner. I'm gonna do my best to explain what's happening and why. We know that for our MOSFETs to turn on, we need a voltage at the gate. If we look at our circuit, that voltage has to come through the capacitor on the ground side. On the positive side, the gate and capacitor are connected to the power source through a one mega ohm resistor, then a 330 ohm resistor, and lastly, the LED. This line is also connected to the drain and the previous MOSFET. So when there is an open channel in that MOSFET allowing current to flow, the electricity would take the path of least resistance, which would be through the MOSFET rather than through the one mega ohm resistor. So while the MOSFET is open, the LED has a direct connection through the MOSFET to ground. Through this path, the LED gets enough voltage and current to turn on. But for our MOSFET to turn on, we need a charge at the gate. So how does it get activated? There isn't enough voltage coming through the one mega ohm resistor, so we need the capacitor to charge up enough to discharge, supplying a voltage to the gate. Now, the capacitor has that one mega ohm resistor on its positive lead. That's a lot of resistance, so even though it's only 2.2 microfarads of capacitance, it doesn't charge to full immediately. It takes some time. Back to the gate. The channel in the MOSFET gets enhanced and depleted at the same rate that the capacitor charges and discharges. So as the charge in the capacitor increases, the channel gets bigger, allowing more current to flow through the MOSFET, and the LED slowly gets brighter, eventually reaching its full brightness. Here's the circuit of only one LED, hooked up to turn on if the gate of its MOSFET is open. The drain is not connected to the next MOSFET. When the power is turned on, the capacitor charges up and continues to keep up with powering the LED. It doesn't fade. The difference between the one LED circuit and our project circuit is whether the drain is also connected to the next capacitor and MOSFET gate by a one mega ohm resistor. So what causes the LED to dim and the lights to cycle? Well, it's no fun if I give you all the answers. I've shown you why the MOSFET turns on. You tell me why it turns off. If you figure it out, post your answer in the comments below. All right, enough of all this science. Let's get to the making. To start, you're going to place your first MOSFET, the first one mega ohm resistor, and the capacitor. Then repeat with the next two MOSFETs. I'm doing something a bit wonky here. For the third one mega ohm resistor, there's not really enough room to go over the top. There's no easy path. So instead, I'm putting the resistor on the bottom side, connecting the drain of the third MOSFET to the gate of the first MOSFET. I placed my caps so that there's enough room to fold them over to give my circuit a lower profile. Next, we'll place the three 330 ohm resistors and the LEDs so that they're clumped close together. Next, we'll add our switch and connect all of the positive pins of the LEDs to the switch. Next, we'll add the pin that will go to our battery pack and we'll connect one of the pins to the switch. Now, I didn't have any 
right angle pins. So I just took some of these and bent them over with my pliers. Last, we'll connect everything to our ground plane. That's the source pins of our MOSFETs and the negative pins of our capacitors. Those are going to go down to the black power pin. So if you put your circuit in something that will diffuse the light like this orb that I salvaged from a lighting fixture, all of the colors will blend and you'll get this cool phasing light effect. Now, there are a lot of potential uses and applications for this particular circuit, and I'd love to see your ideas. Post those on the Element 14 community on element14.com forward slash the learning circuit. Happy learning.